thought I'd shoot a quick video um, installing these True Glow Tritium handgun night sights on my Glock 43. I know a lot of people install the XS Big Dot sights. I've used them before and personally I don't like them that much. Um, Trigicon, they make quality night sights also. Ameriglow, uh, they make some pretty good ones. And then True Glow, they make some fiber optic, some tritium night sights, and then some fiber optic tritium. Um, personally, I don't, I guess I just have better eyes than some people. I don't feel the need for fiber optic during the day. I can see sights just fine during the day. So I decided to go only for tritium night sights. I didn't need a fiber optic. They're fairly simple to install. Um, I'm going to do it kind of in two parts of uh, the back, the rear sight and then the front sight. So for the back sight, the videos I watched and, you know, I'll be upfront honest, I'm not like a professional gunsmith, but I, you know, I've tinkered with guns and stuff like that. Um, the videos I watched on replacing the Glock sights or whatever, they used a copper uh, drift punch, so kind of a large diameter uh, brass, sorry, um, punch. And um, I found them all over online, but I didn't think to buy one when I bought the sights. And I was like, well, there's four or five hardware stores in the area. For some reason, on all their online stores, they had them in stock, but in store, they didn't. What I'm going to try instead is I had a section of this is half inch oak dowel. So I'm going to use this as an impromptu punch. The reason you don't want to use steel is you'll mar up, possibly dent, possibly chip um, the sights, kicking them off and putting them on. Um, I'm going to try this option. I'm just going to use a soft um, sided mallet, even though I'm just hitting this. Um, it will kind of protect this a little more. And if I do miss and hit the frame of the gun, um, it, it won't scuff or anything. Um, I bought this at Harbor Freight for like $3. The other thing, at least I'm going to use, is just three-in-one uh, motor oil. Okay, so uh, this is, is the Polymer Factory Glock rear sight. Um, what I did is I put a couple drops of oil um, in there, just kind of using physics to the best of my advantage. Um, but I'm just going to line up I'm kind of covered in oil but that's the rear sight um, this is the new sight here okay on uh, this side facing the rear So I pushed it um, maybe a quarter of the way on. Um, now I'm going to try to just hammer this lightly. pretty good there. I'm going to use the included hex key and there's a set screw right up here. I'm going to drive that down. Now we'll move on to the front sight. <clears throat> okay so underneath the barrel I don't know if you can see in there but there is a very small 3 16 inch uh, hex head screw or bolt sorry. So I'm going to put this back in the vise and then I'll show you a tool that I made out of a tool. So this was just an old 3 16 inch nut driver 
what I did is took some sandpaper on a sander and ground the wall of it down. The reason you have to do that is the thickness of this wall interferes in there. So you do kind of have to grind it down or you can buy a special tool. I think True Glow makes one for $10 on Amazon. I had one of these and I'll probably do it multiple times. So I just made a special tool just for it. So you won't be able to see me doing it, but I'm going to just remove that screw. Make sure the nut driver is fully seated or otherwise, you know, you don't want to mangle up that bolt. So I think once I remove this, the sight will kind of just fall off. So that's your little bolt right there. So I'm going to save that for later. Let's take a little pin punch. And knock that out. So that's kind of what you'll be looking for. I kind of lost the factory front sight, but I don't really need it. I'll probably find it later. So that's what you're going for. So this new one, this new sight, also comes with one of those bolts which I'll remove and reuse. So I had to jam some steel wool just a little bit into this socket so just because the head is so small it likes to squirm around but then that way it's securely pointed outward. Now I'll just find that hole And I mean, this bolt, <clears throat> it is a front sight, so I'd, I'd probably uh, torque down on it a lot, not a ton. Pretty tight though. So there it is. Hopefully you can see that, the, uh, the rear sight and the front sight. I'm going to reassemble the gun and I will show you what it looks like. Okay, so here it is all finished up. Um, let's see, hopefully you can see that there. Kind of weird trying to do it through camera, but I think something like that. Okay. So you can see they're quite a bit bigger or wider than the factory sights. I think they're going to work out good though. Okay, so I hope you like this video. Um, I might make a couple more videos like this. Um, so far I'm loving this gun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys found it useful. If you did find it useful, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Um, and if you haven't already, feel free to go back to my homepage and watch some of my recent videos. And if you like what you see, feel free to subscribe.